Hello there. Welcome back to my channel, Snips by Kelly. And tonight I have a single page for you that is actually going to turn into a double page. There'll be a companion page at the end if you stay tuned. We're focusing tonight on recreating inspiring artwork. And we have this gorgeous cover of our brand new March April idea book. We all love new products and being inspired. So I saw this cover layout and I absolutely wanted to recreate it. So the first First thing I usually do is I try to dissect the bits that they've used. So I see a few stickers here. I'm thinking I'm seeing some thin cuts. Uh, I also see some stamping in the background, so I know they've used a stamp set. So I like to go through the a new catalog and I like to find the bits that I think that they've used so I can definitely see some of the patterns in our brand new let's go anywhere paper suite or paper collection I see some die cuts from those same collect that same collection the die cuts in that collection I'm picking out some of the stickers I see stickers from the sticker sheet for sure but I know they've also used a stamp and thin cut set so I'm thinking it is the scrapbooking stamp yep it looks like it is the let's go anywhere scrapbooking stamp set i see background stamping with that circular airplane it's super cute the stitching i see a passport so it looks like some of the passports are stickers and then some of the passports are thin cuts and then that globe is a thin cut so i'm seeing those stickers on the sticker sheet um and so here we have the collection this is the paper pack for let's go anywhere and i love it it's trash travel icons the color uh, scheme is amazing and look at these patterns we have a map pattern airplane pattern my favorite is the blue or periwinkle stripe we have some busy hero travel paper and some uh, multi-colored passports which I really really love so I'm going to pull out the pieces that I think that they've used in this layout and um, let's get started. I'm so excited. It looks like a French vanilla base to me, and it looks like the cover is an eight and a half by 11. So we have to do a little bit of, of adjusting to make that into a 12 by 12. And I am guesstimating it to be 7 by 12, that, that uh, passport paper, which leaves us a 5 by 12. Now we have this triangle piece, and sometimes when I'm figuring things out, I'm just not always thinking yet. And so I actually cut a 12 by 12 piece on the diagonal, and then I actually... Um, gut out one inch frame on that triangle, thinking that I'm only doing a single page layout at this point. And I do decide to, to make a companion page. And then I also end up with too big of a piece and I feel like there's waste. I feel like there should be a way for me to use this blue pattern in a better way and so shortly here as the video goes along um, it bothers me because I keep it laying here and then I eventually do a redo and I show you how to conserve a one inch frame all the way around for a different layout then gut the interior of what's left to make the perfect triangles to fit this layout and a companion page so not only do you get both blue triangles you get both green triangles and you get a whole one inch frame for a whole separate layout if you would like to do a separate layout. So just hold tight if you're one who's ready to jump right in, wait a few minutes into the video and um, I will show you a better way to do that. That's why I'm figuring it out so you don't have to waste your paper. So I've decided to use this photo of myself on a 200 year old schooner boat. Oh my word. <clears throat> the wood Woodwork was so gorgeous on this boat and it was such a beautiful day and I was on an annual girl trip to Maine um, and we had so much fun so I, I am figuring out that this is the eight and a half by 11 so I'm going to have some space off to the right and I want to do more journaling so I'm probably going to put a piece of cardstock over there for journaling but right now I have a four and a fourth by six and a fourth photo mat that I'm going to ink with toffee and just just give that that nice distressed look which will be perfect for travel perfect for the schooner boat and I'm going to go ahead 
And I cut that uh, busy travel paper at one inch by six and a fourth inches because it looks like on the cover that it's about the same length as the photo mat, which is six and a fourth, and it looks to be about an inch long. Now, if you want to, you could make that wider so that that's your filler over on the right because an eight and a half by 11 means that we have, let's see, eight and a half, nine and a half, 10 and a half, 11 and a half, about three and a half extra inches on a 12 by 12. Is that right? Eight and a half, nine and a half, 11 and a half. No, two and a half extra inches. I can't add. Um, and so we're going to do a little bit of filling over on the right. You can also slide your photo over a little farther. There's a lot of things that you can do to, to um, adjust an eight and a half by 11 into a 12 by 12. Easy peasy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and ink the edges of the blue pattern and the green pattern. I'm going to ink a little bit on the passport paper as well, just on the edges uh, to rough it up just a little bit and to make a smooth transition. Now, of course, I redo that part on the blue and the green triangles, and so I end up having to re-ink, um, but uh, that's what we're going to end up with. And no worries, I never waste my paper. I always find a use for it. But sometimes when you're the one figuring out dimensions, you can have a little bit of of waste because you're guesstimating you know if you've been paper crafting for a while you can you can figure things out uh, more easily than a person thinks I usually take like a cover photo and I just sometimes I write right on the cover and I'm like oh that's a sticker oh that's a um, that's a die cut um, that's a and this is pretty easy to figure out we're using the paper pack and sticker sheet in the um, let's go anywhere collection and we're using the um, scrapbooking stamp and thin cut from that same collection so that was pretty easy to to sort of figure out I've added some toffee ink to the title I really really feel like if I was on a deserted island and I could only have one ink it would probably have to be toffee because I think I use toffee the most all right so this has bothered me enough now I've looked at that oversized wasteful piece so I'm going to gut a frame at one inches all the way around, one inch all the way around. So one inch to 11 inches, one inch to 11 inches, one inch to 11 inches all the way around, gut that frame. That will leave you a 10 inch piece. Then we're gonna come into that 10 inch piece and we're gonna actually cut again. And so that frame that we just made, this big frame, can go to another layout now. So we have saved two inches of paper, right? Um, well, one inch of paper all the way around. And so now we're going to do that again. And because it's 10 inches, we're going to go from one to, um, let's see, from one to eight and a half. Is that right? Rotate one to eight and a half, rotate one to eight and a half all the way around. And then that's going to leave us that interior green piece and that rectangular frame and it's much smaller now so now we can cut that frame on the top and the bottom and make two triangle frames that gives us a left page and then now we have a piece that we could use on the right page to be able to carry the theme of the left page over to the right because when you're making a companion page and making a two page layout out of a single page you want to make sure to pull elements from the left page over to the right and make it cohesive yay perfect so now we have much more of the appropriate size triangles but we also have conserved a full frame for another layout which will make a great background um, I love that striped periwinkle blue it's gorgeous and adding that toffee to it makes it even prettier so now I have those pieces and I have that extra frame and I'm all Please just punch with myself. <laughs> It's almost like I just found a great coupon. It was like, oh my gosh. So now I'm going to turn my Versamat over. I'm going to add my all-purpose mat because we're going to do some background stamping and create this adorable background. So we're going to take toffee ink and we have this really cute stitched airplane that stitches the heart right inside it. I love it. And it looks like what they've done in the cover is they've just random stamped throughout the whole right page of the French vanilla and so we know that we're going to go in about five a little more than five inches because our passport paper is seven inches which leaves us five inches and we want to make sure to go underneath the paper so we're going to stamp off a little bit on scratch paper we're going to season our stamp on our 
our hands. We're going to make sure that we get a really good stamp. And I, I am impressed that it stamps so, so clean and so nice. I really love it. And it's so cute. I love the stitching and the fonts throughout the stamps in this collection. Um, I actually created the cards in this collection. I actually co created almost all of the art in this entire collection. And I have a process, or not a process video, but a reveal video where I share 75 pieces of artwork from this catalog that I have created and some change ups. I've given some, I've made some companion pages. I've made some change ups. I've done some elevations and it was so, so, so much fun. It's been a while since I've been able to do that. I do a lot of things like that in my private groups, but I've never done that uh, on a public YouTube before. So hopefully the response is good and that people are really enjoying seeing all that artwork. So I will link that in the description down below and up above in the hyperlink if you want to check out that full video with 75 pieces of artwork. It's uh, It was really wonderful and fun to share all the new items. This is a great new idea book. I'm loving every single thing about it. We have a really cute Easter line in it called honey bunny. I have some process videos that are coming very, very soon with those. The videos are done. I'm just trying to sneak them out a couple each week so that people aren't overwhelmed and so that you have time. So as you can see, I'm making sure <clears throat> that the, uh, the heart is upside down sometimes and that it's right side up and it's to the side and it's to the front. I'm making sure to overlap a few of the circles and then keep a few of the circles not connected. And it's really anything goes. You really can't can't mess up this kind of a background. It's just so lovely. I, I love it. Um, it would be so cute on cards too to make cards with this kind of a background. Now I'm just using my mini ink blending tool and I'm actually pouncing and kind of going along the edges there and really dirtying up those edges and it's a faster way to get it done. Uh, sometimes I'll lift up the paper and try to do it this way but I love rubbing and then you can rub your mini ink blending tool back onto your all-purpose mat and pick up some of that ink so it doesn't get wasted and now I want to actually dirty up a little bit within the circles and just add some shading and shadowing in there. I don't want it to be all bright in the middle and then dirty on the edges. Um, and I really, really like that look. And then I discover I have a long hair, like surprise, surprise. <laughs> if you follow me, I always say the hair is at no charge. Like <laughs> I just have really, really long hair I've had all my life and, and it has a tendency to get places and we have no pets, uh, indoor pets. So, okay. So, so now here we are. <clears throat> And what I'm doing now is I'm just actually going to lay this, there's some stitching on the green matte paper. So I'm, I love our all-purpose mat because the lines are built in. I can lay my long T ruler, my long part of my T ruler, all the way across the all-purpose mat on the measurement lines. And I can get some nice edges on anything that I lay on that. And it's just another way to keep things straight. I don't have a straight hand at all. In fact, I've broken both of my little fingers, one of them twice, one of them was fractured once and broken once. And so both of my little fingers have really had difficulty, which is as ironic that I could have done that, you know, that many times on both hands, but I have. And um, so I have a really unsteady hand and my if you watch me closely, you'll see that no matter what I do, my finger won't uh, won't it it won't bend all the way under and it sticks up like I'm drinking tea like an English person <laughs> and so uh, I don't I have horrible handwriting because of it and I'm not straight so I love those little tricks to help keep us straight so now I'm loving that that I did trim it off um, I kind of put the point not quite centered a little bit more uh, like a, maybe just an inch or two more toward the bottom and then trimmed it off because my idea for the companion page is to have the arrow a little more toward the top. And if you have the arrow a little more toward the bottom on the left, you can have the arrow a little more toward the top on the right. And it's a perfect offset. It's asymmetrical, but it's a perfect offset for a companion page. And then your um, 
And then you're really carrying through the themes to both sides. So I actually am taking a one and a half by six inch piece of Scarlet, and I'm choosing Scarlet for a variety of reasons. One is it's in my shirt, in my warm shirt that I'm wearing there, my flannel. The other, it's in the passport. It's in the uh, the tag that's on the sticker sheet. Um, I'm thinking that maybe for the companion page, I might make a few things of that color um in thin cuts just to coordinate and I have journaling so I really want to have some journaling off to the right and I think I'm going to do the journaling on this scarlet piece and so I also want to extend that car scarlet piece about a half inch from the right edge and then that extends that out another way to turn an eight and a half by eleven into a twelve by twelve and use that as a filler now there's so many things you could do here you could add some more icons you could um, add some tags you could add some more pattern paper you could extend that busy pattern paper um, and there's so many different things that you could do there but I happen to like tying the red in it might look a little funny now but once we get all of the icons in place and all the stickers and all of that in place it'll look balanced so now I'm just looking at the cover pulling out the things that that I've matched up from the cover pulling out all the stickers stickers and then I'll be able to know what I need in thin cuts once I find all the stickers and the ones that I can go ahead and put in place I'm going to put in place and then I'll make uh, some stamps and thin cuts or some thin cuts out of the rest of the bits that I need. I love this adventure title. It's so cute. Now, I'm struggling down here a little bit because I don't want to cover up that gorgeous wheel. I was not thinking about that when I placed my photo. Um, and sometimes that's the beauty of trying to figure something out. You place something and you think you know what you're doing and then you're like, oh, uh, the important part of my photo is in the lower left. It might have best served me if I had chosen a photo where um, I was up more toward the top of the photo and there was maybe wasted space on the left um, but because the ship's wheel is there I'm struggling a little bit how to do it I think I do I don't know if I end up moving the photo up I think is what I end up doing and moving it up a little bit higher and then um, sort of getting it so that it just barely sits on the bottom so my title will be a sketch lower than the title on the master but you know you can use the master as inspiration and you can use it as a jumping off point it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm just taking a little bit of sticky off the back of a couple things with my anti-static pouch so that I can move those around a little bit and I'm just kind of leaving my pieces lay there a little bit so I can you know think about how I want to do it and do I really want to rip my photo up and I did <laughs> and there I did and I did it and you know what we're lucky um, even though I use the regular Tombow Air adhesive um, it's not as repositionable as our close to my heart branded um, uh, Tombow but it but it actually has some give especially if you do it right away um, if you do it gently you won't rip your paper yes you could go get some undo and you could squirt your undo on there and pull it all up but I usually find um, and it's a little embarrassing on camera because it looks like I'm manhandling and just ripping things off but I usually can find and I know you know what I mean that you if you're gentle enough you and if you tear things that are under things that won't show it's okay and if you're gentle enough on the spots that show you can get by with it so so now I'm replacing everything and I'm not covering up that gorgeous gorgeous woodwork like I felt so like regal and the sea air and the there was a little bit breezy that day and cool and crisp and, and that boat just like ship I guess just a schooner I don't know what you call it a boat a ship um, I mean in South Dakota we don't have an ocean obviously duh and so um, I'm fascinated with the ocean we have bodies of water we have lakes and dams and we go fishing and we go boating in the summer and jet skiing and things like that but we don't have the ocean to me is just different the smell the air like everything and I get oh I just get this feeling like freedom 
freedom. And um, I can't even describe it, but that day was amazing. And it was just so cool to be on that ship that had so much history, some of it not so good. You know, it was uh, some pretty incredible journeys that that ship had made. And so it was really, really special. So now I have created a couple thin cuts from that Stampin' Thin Cut set, the um, Let's Go Anywhere scrapbooking Stampin' Thin Cut. So I created the globe and then I dirtied it up with some toffee. I created a little red uh, Scarlet Passport also. And um, let's see, did I create anything else or was it just those two items that I needed out of the thin cuts for this one? I actually um, created for the companion page, which we'll talk about at the end, a couple suitcases um, and some sunglasses. I created a scarlet suitcase, a sapphire suitcase, toffee sunglasses, and a couple passports, a toffee and a sapphire passport. But we'll talk about that. But just giving you a heads up, sometimes it's nice to know so that you can make those thin cuts. A lot of times what I do is I just make a whole bunch in the coordinating colors and then I have them to use in my junk gypsy tray and I don't have to stop in the middle of creating and go create more and I typically always use usually get them all used up. If I don't use them up I put them right in the plastic envelope with that same stamp and thin cut so if I need some at any given time they're actually stored with the stamp and thin cut that they were created with. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now I'm moving around. <clears throat> adding those bits, adding some foam tape and popping up. So I've popped up the black passport. I've, um, I'll be popping up. There's a little heart sticker, the little heart sticker that I have here with the earth on it. And then I did pop up the whole adventure sticker. And then with thinner 3D foam tape, there's a little teeny tiny sticker that says is waiting so that you can say adventure is waiting. And I've popped that is waiting up. And I love that. And I think we're getting really close in terms of the bits and pieces. We need some twine. We need a little black um, die cut piece that we need to add. And then I think there's a little sticker on the red dot tab that says vacation. And so we'll find that and we'll add that up at the top. I love the icons in this. And yes, you know, if you want to really be literal, this was not an international travel. Um, and I didn't need a passport, but it's okay. Don't overthink it. Think travel theme. Um, and it doesn't need to be international travel for you to have passports. It's just a cute little travel icon to use. So now I added that vacation. I've added the, um, the little travel icon. And I know that they used our blue dots that have stars and hearts and circles. And I have every color of dots and gems possible and not that color. And so what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing some of that color off of my old uh, crisp air shapes. And I love when I can use something up like that. And then they have actually colored the clear sparkles. And I I don't know if you know that we can color the clear sparkles and we can color the bitty sparkles any color we want so I think I chose earth brown um, and I colored a few of those bitty sparkles just to tie in and I have some old I think it was called whisper twine it was a really nice thick twine and I have a little tiny bit left and I thought that might look really nice to use a really thick twine here like rope you know like sea rope and um, I'm just tying a knot in the end and then I'll trim that off and I'm going to add a little glue dot to the bottom to keep it loose but secure the end in place so that the end doesn't flop around in my page protector but yet it sort of looks like it's loose even though it really isn't. And then I'm adding some of those blue gems around and I love it. I'm so happy to recreate this. And I know most people know I'm a two page scrapper, although I have been getting into, especially since YouTube, I've been getting into lots more single pages. It's just so fun. Um, but I like to make companion pages whenever possible. And so I did make a companion page for this, but let's just revel a minute. I love it. I love 
love it. It just turned out so great and I'm so happy. So I guess I'm adding my uh, my black uh, die cut now. I didn't realize I hadn't done that. And I like it so that the red part of the tab up there peeks through the heart in that. So yay, here we go. I love everything about it. I hope you love it. So let's see what I've done here. I repeated everything that we did on the left base page on the right page. The only thing is I moved the triangle up farther and I trimmed it off so that there's one triangle more toward the bottom left and one triangle more. And what I did for the size on the... So sorry, I had to clip click off there in mid-sentence because our fire whistle went off um, and I didn't want to annoy everyone but it's 4 by 12 underneath on the right side and I discovered after the triangles were in place you truly could get by with a 4 by 6 under there probably because it'll be covered up with photo mats and covered up with the triangle so if you don't want to go 4 by 12 so then I have let's see let's go through these sizes here I have a 4 by 4 photo two of them a 3 by 4 a four by six and a three by three and I put the photo mats I put one um scarlet photo mat on the ship on one four by four photo um an additional photo mat to tie in the red added all the extra little bits so the take a scenic route sticker two suitcases from the thin cuts two passports from the thin cuts and the see the world sticker and then I embellished with a travel together sticker up at the upper left and the gems and that my friends is the inspiring cover page turned into my own artwork and companion page i hope you enjoyed it hit subscribe and follow and we'll see you soon